Good morning. Today is Monday, May 27th, 2024. And this daily bread is titled, God's Power is Unmatched. It's from 1 Samuel chapter 5, verse 1 through 12. And the key verse is verse 7. And it says, When the people of Ashdod saw what was happening, they said, The Ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy on us and on Dagon our God. After the Philistines had captured the Ark of God, they took it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. Then they carried the Ark into Dagon's temple and set it beside Dagon. When the people of Ashdod rose early the next day, there was Dagon, fallen on his face on the ground before the Ark of the Lord. They took Dagon and put him back in his place. But the following morning when they rose, there was Dagon, fallen on his face on the ground before the Ark of the Lord. His head and hands had been broken off and were lying on the threshold. Only his body remained. That is why, to this day, neither the priests of Dagon nor any others who entered Dagon's temple at Ashdod step on the threshold. The Lord's hand was heavy on the people of Ashdod and its vicinity. He brought devastation on them and afflicted them with tumors. When the people of Ashdod saw what was happening, they said, The ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy on us and on Dagon our God. So they called together all the rulers of the Philistines and asked them, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? They answered, Have the ark of the God of Israel moved to Gath. So they moved the ark of the God of Israel. But after they had moved it, the Lord's hand was against that city, throwing it into a great panic. He afflicted the people of the city, both young and old, with an outbreak of tumors. So they sent the Ark of God to Ekron. As the Ark of God was entering Ekron, the people of Ekron cried out, They have brought the Ark of the God of Israel around to us to kill us and our people. So they called together all the rulers of the Philistines and said, Send the ark of the God of Israel away. Let it go back to its own place, or it will kill us and our people. For death had filled the city with panic. God's hand was very heavy on it. Those who did not die were afflicted with tumors, and the outcry of the city went up to heaven. Daily Bread First, God's power over idols. When the Philistines captured the ark of the covenant, they placed it in the temple of Dagon as a sign of their God's superiority. However, God demonstrated his power over Dagon, causing the idol to fall and break, showing that no other God can stand before him. We need to recognize the things we often idolize, whether success, relationships, or personal achievements, hold no real power compared to God. What are the things that you may be prioritizing over your relationship with God? Is there anything that you can't let go of in your life? If anything is more important to you than God, that is your idol. Let's commit to placing Him first, understanding that His power and presence in our lives are the true sources of strength, security, and happiness. Second, respect for God's sovereignty. The sickness brought upon the Philistines were a direct response from God to their disrespect and misuse of the ark. This incident illustrates that God protects His holiness and will act to affirm His sovereignty. Oftentimes, we forget what a great and holy God we serve and follow. We should maintain a deep respect and reverence for God's presence and commands. In your daily life and decisions, seek to honor God, not minimize or challenge His authority. In whatever responsibilities you carry out or leadership possessions you serve in, lead in a way that reflects your respect for God, encouraging others to recognize His sovereignty. Prayer Heavenly Father, remind me of your unmatched power and sovereignty. Help me to keep you at the forefront of my life, avoiding the temptation to idolize worldly achievements or possessions. Teach me to live with reverence for your will, knowing you are the only true God worthy of my worship. One word, live with reverence for God.